You've already completed a step in utilizing it, that being the acceptance of your body's fluid nature under the influence of magic. That said, I hope you all completed the assignment from last week because my TA will be collecting them from you now. Could you get those from me, bud? That assignment, as you all might remember, was to identify and explain the various stages of transfiguration magic, which again, I must stress, is not to be confused with shifter magic. Can someone explain what that is? Mr. Sinclair? Shifter magic and transfiguration magic differ in the way that magic interacts with the human body. Shifters are constantly flowing with magic in their bodies, and thus collect magic in their human form to use for shifting, forcing their bodies to biologically alter themselves. Transfiguration prompts magic from the world around someone to alter one's form, without the limitations of a singular transformation. Correct. However, while multiple transformations is cited as a difference in official textbooks, it's more accurate to say that transfiguration magic allows for a wider range of forms one can take. Keep in mind, shifters, even though it is rare to see, are able to take on multiple bestial forms. Thank you, Mr. Sinclair. Please take your seat. Yes, Mr. Masters. Now, while you're all aware that your official practical assessment isn't until a few months from now, I would like for each of you to come forward and demonstrate your current capacity for transfiguration magic. This will allow me to properly gauge where each of you are in your skills to determine what you may need to work on for the semester as we spend our time here together productively. Who's first? Next up, Mr. Sinclair, you may step forward. Thank you, sir. Now, remember to breathe and make your best effort. This is only to see where your skills are at this moment, so we're not expecting anything perfect. Yes, sir. Well done. A brilliant alteration of form, increase in size, sober exaggeration of features, and certainly a form befitting of someone named after a greater demon. Already there's a lot of potential in your future with... That's so fucking cool! <laughs> Mr. Ortiz? Shit. Sorry. While I understand your excitement, please limit your expression to something with less profanity during my lectures. Gotcha. <sighs> Seeing as how you were so excited, you can go next. Sweet. Thank you, Mr. Sinclair. You may return to your seat while Mr. Ortiz performs his demonstration. Yes, sir. Mr. Ortiz, let's see what you have to offer to the class. Okay. Is there a limit to what I can transform into? I only want your best. Gotcha, dude. Right, sir. Gotcha, sir. <sighs> Whenever you're ready. Is that? Yes, 
I know it's a Pikachu. There is an attention to detail that you've even added your own flair to the form. And I talk. And you talk. That is a very keen sense of control over your own magical output. Can you actually create electric discharges? Sure. That's very impressive. How long have you been using transfiguration magic? Since I was 13. Hey bud, you're in class. Pick your job from the floor. As for you, Mr. Ortiz, you did exceptionally well. You're quite an advanced student for your age, so I will commend you on your performance. Hell yeah! That said, please control yourself so the rest of the class can pay attention to the lesson. We don't need any distractions. Share teach. All right, Mr. Masters. Return to your seat, please. And let's get going with the next volunteer. You look like something's on your mind. You're still fixated on that student from earlier? His choice to be a Pokemon was interesting. I'm more impressed that he was actually able to create a functional form. Because it's one thing to transform into an animal, bud. It's another thing to take the form of a fictional creature. Much less one that biology shouldn't be able to generate electricity. It takes a lot of skill and knowledge to be that precise. Careful, you keep praising him and I might make Mr. Ortiz my new TA. I kid, he's good, but he's got ways to go, and I quite like my current aid as they are. Yes, because I like you so much, I'll get you a coffee. Just not from the godforsaken building that's been unfortunately monikered as a cafe.